person who's physically active can benefit from this next routine. As you ask your friend to lie down on their back, step behind them. Sit with your knees as far apart as you can, with your arms stretched away from them at about 45 degrees to the shoulder. Look at their feet, their feet shoulder level apart. Use your hands at the arches and lean into their feet. Look towards their face. Lean into their feet. Lean back. We're leaning into the feet, moving forward and back, all around the arch. So the arch likes to take pressure, allowing the feet to feel alive, allowing the ankle to begin to feel a stretch. Do that a few times. That will wake up the hips. It sends a message to the lower back to relax. It gently moves your hips forward and back. This forward and back movement of your hips happens naturally when you breathe. This is a way to lubricate the lower part of the sacrum. After you've done it a few times, turn your fingers inward and press into the heel, lean forward. Bring your right knee to your left hand and your left foot flat on the outside of their knee. Take your right hand inside the foot, the left hand inside the knee. That will guide, then you're guiding rather than pulling. You may need to fix the pants as you fold the leg in a number four. Press into the heel. Bring yourself so that your legs are open between your belly and your left hand is at the top of the leg. Lean into the leg. Let the muscle feel that you can lean into it. The arm is straight. The body is rising from the armpit. Press into the middle of the calf muscle. Press into the middle of the leg. Press at the top of the calf muscle. Press just before the knee. Bring your hands in a butterfly-like direction where you can clap. And we're going to just use the top of the leg where the muscle is meaty. Come to the middle. Come to the edge. Notice we're not wasting a lot of time. We're going from one edge to the other, cutting it in half. Very efficient. Press into the knee or just before the knee. Press into the calf. Press by the leg. Press in the middle. Press by the thigh. Press in the heel. Don't need much in the science of ebbs. The edge with the leg out to the side. Don't cheat. Try to get a stretch to the leg. Reach all the way to the edge of the knee so you get a press into the ligaments. Hold on to the ankle, toes under your wrist. You can hold on to the other leg. Lift the chest, inhale, and exhale, lean back. That compresses the edge of the muscle. Lean forward, bring it to the middle of the muscle. Push, leg straight first. Then let yourself lean back to get even more of a press into their muscle. Lean forward, bring it to the edge, outside again, and lean back after your leg is straight. Drop your toes down, bend the knee a little bit, drop their foot. Hold on to the heel, use your right leg in the middle of their hamstring. You cannot push even more. Straighten the leg, and then use the left toes to pull as you lean back. Lean forward, move the foot to the edge, push it in, and lean back. Your clients, you can always check with them. Good. More pressure, less pressure. Let them help determine that interaction. Rotate the hands, slide it to the toes to lift it out. We're making it softer by walking into the muscle, so grab at the ankle and walk from the knee. Over to the thigh, to the edge by the region. Don't cheat it out, and then walk it back. Bring your toes together in the middle of the leg. Slacken the thigh, and fold the leg over your toes. The big toes touch. Notice we're right in the middle of the leg. Push yourself to the side. Hands by your hip, press yourself forward. Reach over the leg. Cup on the IT band at the opposite side, push the toes, and lean back. Come to the middle, press, push, lean back. Lean forward, press, push, and lean back. Tuck, so your hands are open like a cup. You cup it up and down a few times. Slide to the knee, lift that knee, place the foot down, turn, and face your client. 
push the knee to remove to move the foot and place it close to the hip. By the knee, lean back and pull, track their hip. Come forward, pull, track the hip in the middle of the knee, and then up by the knee, track it back. Place your right hand on the floor, push the knee forward, stand up, move into a lunge, and place the foot right in your thigh. Your left foot is close to their hip. Like a tame train track, we're going to guide the knee to the shoulder, helping to create a release in the colon on the side of the body. Your left arm is straight, so don't hover close over the body. Stay away from them. You are connecting with them, but you're offering to them something. Right hand on the thigh. Lean forward towards the shoulder. Release a little bit. Press down and compress. Move back. Step the foot out and let the knee open out to the side. From the hamstring, from the, from the hip region, press down. Stay here. Breathe. Inhale. And then inhale. Come out. Slide the hand from the leg to the hip, to the ankle. Drop your left knee to the hip. Guide the knee towards center. Step over into a lunge. Press the knee down. Hold in the ankle. Inhale. Exhale. Let it stretch. One. Inhale. Press down in the middle of the hamstring and exhale. Let it stretch to its edge. You want to take the muscle to the edge to wake it up, to activate it, to release the tension from the hard work that we tend to do with our muscles. Turn your back foot inward so you can sit down behind it. Notice you can still hold on to the leg and then replace the hand with the foot. Push yourself back. <coughs> Turn the foot Charlie Chaplin. Hands on either side of the ankle, but you're grabbing by the Achilles tendon. Leg is straight. Lift the chest. Inhale. Exhale, lean back, pressing into the ligaments. Lean forward, lift the leg, look at the hamstring, press the foot into the middle of the hamstring. Push, lift, and lean back. Lean forward, lift the leg, come up high, leg to straight, inhale, exhale, and lean back. Inhale, lean forward, draw the foot flat against the buttocks, let the leg be straight, look towards your client, and roll their foot over your toe. Tuberosity, press, let the greater trochanter, less the trochanter, roll over your ankle, your bony part of the toes. Push. Take your right leg under the left knee and cross your legs. Take your right hand inside. Press the knee to the shoulder. Press the ankle down to the hip. Keep the ankle down, hand on the outside of the knee, rotating the leg. And you might have to bring your right knee right underneath their knee so that it doesn't overstretch. Butterfly palm from the knee, we're going to press one. Stay there for a moment. Give a stretch to the IT band. Two. Good. Three by the hip. Two. Powerful stretch for those of us who work the leg very hard on the outside, re releasing tension from the lower back. And one by the knee. Notice we're staying there a little bit to activate and create the release all the way through the back while compressing, providing pressure into the band, which allows more blood to circulate there. Rub your hand on the leg to soften it, slide to the ankle, lift the knee a little bit, and rotate it back. Bring the leg to the outside part of you. Notice your right hand is under the knee. Let the leg rest. Let the leg be straight. Shake it a little bit. Circle the knee for a moment and lift, move the leg forward to the floor. Step over to the side, circle, move it to the floor, and then move it forward. Feel the stretch. Bring the leg across you. Great. Shake it out as you grab on the ankle. Notice the foot likes to fit right on the forearm. Rise up into a lunge, press down on the thigh with the left arm, and lean, flexing the foot. One. Two, hand moves to the middle of the quadricep, back to the knee, just in front of the knee, press and pull. Shake it down, come around, grab the their right foot with your left hand, drop your left knee, your right foot up. Right hand inside the knee, bend the knee. Left knee comes in, right knee comes down, right hand at the thigh. 